The Trump campaign explains why the ex-president still loves Hannibal Lecter in speeches. Many have speculated about Donald Trump's strange references to Hannibal Lecter at campaign rallies. The former president has made jokes about migrants and confused the concept of asylum while talking about migrants. He recently seemed to insinuate that the famous killer is a real person. When pressed directly by The Independent about Trump's bizarre references to Dr. Lecter and Silence of the Lambs, his campaign gave a brief response. A Trump campaign spokeswoman stated, President Trump is an inspiring and skilled storyteller and citing pop culture is one of many reasons he can successfully connect with the audience and voters. Author Thomas Harris developed Hannibal Lecter. This figure appeared in Harris's 1988 novel, The Silence of the Lambs. In the 1991 picture Hannibal Lecter, Anthony Hopkins, played him, the relationship apparently outraged film star Sir Anthony Hopkins. Trump mentioned Hannibal in his acceptance speech at the Republican National Convention last week and during a rally in North Carolina on Wednesday. When I add, the late great Hannibal Lecter, they go berserk. Why would he mention him? He must be mentally in trouble, Trump claimed during a Charlotte rally this week. True Stories Hannibal Lecter from Silence of the Lambs is great, he said. He wants dinner with you. He wants you for dinner. Speculators have noted that Trump only mentions Dr. Lecter during his topic of immigrants, suggesting the possibility that he confused asylum seekers with Dr. Lecter's mad asylum. Trump frequently mentions insane asylums as places where millions of immigrants enter the U.S. He claims they come from jails and prisons. Venezuela's government and opposition ended the presidential campaign season Thursday with thousands of protesters in the capital. Events three days before the highly anticipated Sunday election showed the vast differences between the leading contestants, especially their resources. President Nicolas Maduro, seeking a third term, rallied supporters on a giant platform on one of the city's main roadways with musical intermissions and dances. He told the gathering, part of which was flown to Caracas on state-owned buses, that his opponents advocate violence and that he is a peacemaker. Which of the ten candidates assures peace and stability? Maduro asked people. However, he recently predicted a post-election bloodbath. Former Ambassador Edmundo González Urrutia, representing the Unitary Platform Group, and opposition leader Maria Corina Machado, garnered less supporters. González and Machado rode a truck platform through the city to a middle-class capital district.